Okay, let's try to build and make a little video here on showing you how to wire up this uh, PLC without giving you all the schematics and all the data sheet. You can look them up, but sometimes it's a little confusing if you're barely beginning. So I'm going to do it my best to simplify it. Uh, first of all, is remember I, on the other video, I said to look up the model, what which PLC, which is the FC6A, which is the model number, and it says 20, C24, which is 24 volts to to uh, operate this PLC. I came over here, you've got my power supply, 120 volts, comes out to 24 volts, uh, positive and negative. Right here, I got positive and negative coming down to this slot down here. Let me get that blue wire out of the way. And it's 24 volts right there. Um, I also said that you needed a USB cable. We'll choose that USB cable. This is the one you use. You put in that little slot right there. Put in that little slot, and 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 that you were able to uh, program it. Now, up here, you got your inputs. You got common, and you got from zero to fifteen. Those are all your inputs. Now, common, you can either make it negative common or positive common. What I mean by that is, what happens is, let me go back over here to my positive bus. We can go positive here. Goes to my button. And then from the other side of my button, goes down, down, down to my input number one, or input zero, so forth. And what it is, and do the same thing with the other, other inputs. What it is, is, is when you press that button, it's gonna light up a LED that's inside here and, and make contact, make a complete circuit. And so that makes it, so that makes it, uh, tells your PLC, say, hey, you know, the input number one got pressed, turn on or turn off, a light or motor or whatever um, same way with with uh, the other side right here is 120 volts you can it handles up to 120 volts but if you're gonna put 120 volts make sure you have very very much amperage if you do make sure you put a relay to it and make, make it work that way but also I did a uh, my neutral went to my common which I put my all of these things are neutral already and now, and now this part is gonna be neutral. That's for, for example, this wire is gonna be neutral. So bring it to my light, and then the other side goes to my positive side, right here. Same way with this uh, other light, it goes in, goes to my neutral, the other side goes to my positive. And then, this one neutral goes to my motor, my motor goes back to my positive. So it's, it's, it's like I said, just as long as you Kind of make the complete circuit, it should work fine. Uh, it'll indicate when you press a button to make something turn on and off. It said, okay, this input got pressed, or vice versa. My other input, number one, got pressed. You light it up, it tells you what exactly what turns on. If you press that, it tells you what's on there. Or if you press the other one, it's going to turn on the opposite way. So it tells you exactly what's going on. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment or and I'll try to answer it as quick as possible. Thank you.